Chase Aki Blue Photon, and this is the box office predictions for November 1st to the 3rd. And what I did last week, and yeah, I screwed up last week big time. But let's just run that intro, yo. <laughs> So this week, we have four new releases. We have Arctic Dogs, Harriet, Terminator, the new Terminator, and Motherless Brooklyn. The two I'm more interested in seeing, and of course, is Motherless Brooklyn and Terminator, of course. But let's see, because I still have Countdown. I still have Lucy in the Sky, maybe. I might see Loro, maybe. I might see Black and Blue, Zombieland, Maleficent. I still have a lot to see, so we'll see what I see. But... Let's see how I did with last week's box office. So as you can see, I had Black and Blue at number 5 with $8.3 million. That's wrong. That was actually number 6. Number 4 was actually Countdown. I thought that was going to be number 1 with 20.5. It was only 8.8. .8. I really busted hard on that one. Totally bad. And of course, you have Zombieland, which was actually number 4, which I actually had that right at 4. But I was still off by close to three million on that one. No bueno. And then Adam's family was actually number three with twelve million. Didn't have there at all. And then number two was Joker with nineteen point two million. I was off again by a good two point two million. And Maleficent stayed number one, and I was off by point nine million. So yeah, it was a pretty bad uh, prediction for me. I really thought a PG-13 horror movie like Countdown was going to do better. But I heard it's pretty much a trash movie. But I'll still see it because it might be my worst of the year. As well as Lucy in the Sky might be one of the worst. But I just got to see those movies just to get it get it going. Zombieland dipped a lot harder than I thought. Joker stayed in a lot more than I thought it would. Adam's family stayed in pretty well. And Countdown, or sorry, Black and Blue was about the same what I was expecting. I think those were the five. Was there one more in there? Oh, Maleficent. Yeah, I was pretty good on that one as well. But let's see what I think are going to be. Let's pull this up, guys. What I think are going to be the top five movies from November 1st to the 3rd. All right. Well, let's see if I remember. Number five, I'm going with Harriet with 7.3 million. I really don't know a lot about this movie. It's been getting okay reviews. Uh, but yeah, 7.3 million for Harriet. Number th four. Four. I'm going with the Adams Family with 7.5 million. I think because of the Halloween, and this is the weekend of Halloween, I do think it's going to be a lower drop than what people think. So Adams Family, I am going with 7.5 million. Number three, I am going with Maleficent with 10.5 million. You know, it was very close to Maleficent and Joker last weekend, but this one, I'm sorry, but Maleficent is going to drop and Joker is going to have a better holding. So Maleficent with 10.5 million. Number two. I'm going with Joker. I'm going with 12.7 million. I'm still in the double digits for millions. So you know what? Joker, 12.7. I think it's going to do well. And number one, of course, the new Terminator, Dark Fate. And I'm going with 31.2 million. I mean, uh, I'm going to number one. It's going to be number one, of course. But I could see it going up to 35. But then I could see it not even hitting 25. So I'm still going on the higher end just because you have Edward Furlong in it. I mean, Arnold's been in all of them, so that's kind of a... Well, he has been a salvation. Then you have Linda Hamilton in this one. I mean, you're hearing good things, not great things. I mean, you hear best since T2, and that's not hard to say. I mean, I'm trying to think. Rise of the Machine, I didn't like the John Connor, that one. Salvation was okay. I didn't think it was too bad. And then Genesis, Genocide. There's some good action set pieces in that movie. You can't deny that. And I thought uh, Elizabeth Clark did a fantastic job as a younger Sarah Connor. But you know what? That's what I think. But let's see. Let's just give you a recap of what I think of the top five movies are going to be for this weekend. Number five, I'm going with Harriet with 7.3 million. The Adams Family, number four with 7.5 million. Maleficent, two, 10.5 million. Joker. 12.7 million, which aka might hit 950 million soon. We'll hit a billion, who knows? But the number one Terminator with 30.2 million. Let's hope I'm right a little bit on this one because last week I was off. The only one I got within the 2 million was Maleficent and everything else. Well, black and blue, you could say I was there, but not in the top five. But overall, it's a pretty bad weekend. 
But check out the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One more thing is Blue Futon Utopia. You Blue Futonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And just hit that subscribe button. Bye.